In less than 24 hours, Vince Scully will be dropping the mic forever. So we made our way to Dodger Stadium to talk to fans, players, and the legend himself, Vince Scully. Well, I think I, I, I hope I, I summed it up last night. I mean, all I feel is Thanksgiving. I mean, the Lord has blessed me. He gave me this job at such a youthful age and allowed me to live and do it 67 years. What am I going to say? Darn it, why didn't I get number 68 or anything like that? No, I am totally at ease. Uh, I am so thankful, grateful. Uh, I owe the Dodgers, I owe Lon Rosen, uh, Eric Braverman, Greg Taylor, all the guys who put together last night. I mean, last night, you've heard about being on Mount Olympus. I think I was five feet above that. I've never experienced anything. It was a, such a joyous occasion. And you know, you cry a little bit. Uh, so yeah, that's my feeling. I am happy and thrilled. Uh, I'm gonna miss a lot of people whom I love. But, uh, you know, that's going to be live. You know, just hearing the stories of the transistor radios to, uh, you know, when people are sitting in the stands listening to the game with them to uh, those fall classic memories of uh, people growing up and, and remembering Vin saying, you know, what he says on the, on the radio and, and keep you captivated, um, you know, for three hours a night by the words and the way he puts them together. And uh, the game sometimes can be slow, but he has a way to... Uh, mix from pitch to pitch, uh, bat to bat his words and make them all kind of tie together and uh, be something that uh, makes you, uh, like I said, keep your interest and keep your uh, focus on what's going on in the field. You said you've been a Dodger fan for 50 years. What is your most memorable moment about Vince Scully? He made me a baseball fan. Just from his description, uh, my uh, mother could not afford a television when I was growing up and all we had was the radio and then he, he described the game where I could actually see it in my mind and inspired me to want to play baseball and, and become an athlete to a point uh, playing baseball and I just uh, it's going to be uh, wonderful for him to spend more time with his family because he's been part of my family all these years and all the travel that he's had to do and the fact that uh, I'm not involved will not be painful at all. I'll be thrilled for them. I, I just love Dave Roberts and his people, and I like Dave's approach to the game. The players have always been uh, accommodating and happy. One of the greatest moments in our, and I mean my wife and myself, in our lifetime last night when all the hoopla was over and we were walking back towards the dugout, and Lon, although I didn't know it at the time, I should have realized that the players were lined up, one on each side. And as we walked down, I turned to my wife and I said, it feels like we're getting married again. You know, <laughs> it really, it was a charming moment. So uh, no, I have nothing but uh, hopes and happiness for them. Uh, I can just go back and don't have to worry about being impartial. Uh, I can sit bat and root like everybody else. You know, I appreciate what he's done um, for baseball, and I appreciate what he's done for the Dodgers. Um, being a Dodger my whole career, I understand, uh, you know, what it means to be tied to an organization, obviously not even nearly as long as him, but the way he's kept the fans' um, interest and in, uh, supporting this team by the way he keeps them coming back uh, year in, year out to hear him. Um, you know, I appreciate that, and uh, it gives us players a chance to go out in front of these fans and play every night. There's only one reason that all this fuss is being made. It's because you've been doing it so long that, let's say when we came out here and began, and you were 10 years old, uh, you'd now be 69. And if you're a baseball fan and a Dodger fan, I would have been, along with Jerry and then all the other wonderful announcers. Uh, but that would be your connection to baseball. And so I can understand that as I'm leaving, feeling I'm going to miss the people, it's kind of, I'm sure, they're going to miss me for a little while. And I stress this to my family. You have to understand, I saw Mel Allen leave the Yankees, and everybody thought it'll never be the same, and they never miss a pitch. And I saw Red Barber leave the Dodgers. The game just went right on. I saw Harry Carey leave the Cubs. I saw Jack Buck leave the Cardinals. I mean, it's all part of life. And I know I'm just another pebble on the beach. And I'll give them a year. And a year from now, 
younger people will say, who, who is uh, Vince Scully on that sign? Uh, that's okay. That, that's life. Yeah, I don't mind that at all.